<clears throat> Hi guys. It looks like a fine morning here in paradise in the end times in Garfield, Texas on this lovely Friday morning, February 2nd, Groundhog Day. Yes, uh, we will find out whether we're going to get six more weeks of winter or not today. So I need to get out and do my ecological meltdown roundup rant or sit right here and do it. But before I do, I just need to do an update on this very disturbing video I put out last night about how both Gmail and Yahoo Mail uh, flagged one of my emails as being objectionable and violating the Gmail and Yahoo Mail uh, whatever code of conduct. I'm always violating some code of conduct. I have been violating codes of conduct since nursery school. Uh, I am proud of my lifetime record of violating codes of conduct. Codes of conduct are made to be violated. But anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to report that I got a, uh, <coughs> an email from Lulu. She was the recipient of my objectionable email according to the little uh, buttercup cop bots at those servers. And she just wanted me and the tribe to know that the flag came from her end. Uh, we think we are 99% sure since this has never happened in, in my life that the um, flag came from her end that she is a, uh, a public school teacher, Lulu is. And she was on the uh, public school computer. Uh, and apparently the school system puts up a filter and we assume it is the word fuck or fucking or somewhere, somewhere in the sentence, uh, what was the sentence? Uh, well, anyway, it was something like, no shit, Sherlock, uh, it, it was, could you please pull your head out of your clueless fucking moron ass and understand that we are so fucked. So somewhere in there, uh, the filters at this public school system, somewhere in the deep south, uh, went bananas, went bananas, because I assure you, I assure you, the public school system uh, has, uh, <laughs> If you want to uh, be objectionable to the American public school system, you suggest pulling your head out of your clueless fucking moron ass, waking the fuck up and understanding we are so fucked. Uh, one of the main drivers of, of cluelessness in this country and on this planet is the public school system. So anyway, I said, all right, well, I'm not going to come down too hard on uh, Google and Yahoo Mail yet. So I thought it was safe to go back in the shark infested waters. So I went from my email over to my Skype. Uh, I use Skype.com for um, my phone calling. I've been on Skype for nine years. Again, I've probably made, good God, uh, a half million phone calls on Skype. And so one of our Alert Tribes members from Finland, as a matter of fact, uh, called in and left a voicemail on Skype last night or attempted to. So anyway, 
I go on Skype and it says I have a, uh, <clears throat> a voicemail from uh, my Alert Tribes member in Finland who is probably calling me to talk about this issue with the, the email. And here is the message waiting for me on, uh, from Skype this morning. <clears throat> Quote, item has been deleted from conversation history. I have never received this. Uh, I assure you I have no filters on my end. Uh, from Skype. Uh, good Lord, you can imagine some of the messages that I have gotten on Skype over the years from various uh, psycho bitches, clueless fucking morons, jealous boyfriends, bill collectors, dog catchers. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so there you go. Uh, I'm sure there is a reasonable explanation <coughs> for why Skype, the little uh, PC bots at Skype, has seen it necessary to delete my Alert Tribes members item from my conversation history. Obviously, Skype does not want me having a conversation with, uh, with, with somebody. Guys, you know, as I say, I'm cutting uh, Gmail and Yahoo Mail some slack here, but uh, it's getting fucking weird on this planet. You know, the, the Orwellian nightmare is, is in full swing. And from Skype to Google to Yahoo, uh, it is everywhere. And we are so fucked. Uh, so smoke them if you got them, guys, because uh, this whole thing is coming down. You, you better believe that everybody from, it's everybody from, uh, from the goddamn climate change deniers to the Koch brothers, to these little uh, politically correct buttercup pussies. Uh, you know, the voices of dissent, the violators of codes of conduct are not going to be tolerated much longer. I am a, an unrepentant, proud, lifelong violator of codes of conduct. If there's any code of conduct that I haven't thought of that I can violate, would someone please give me some suggestions of codes of conduct that uh, Hambo Little Tail can violate? And I will do my best to answer the challenge, and I suggest you do the same. Uh, anyway, I got to dive into my ecological meltdown roundup rant uh, to see the uh, Gaian code of conduct being violated. Uh, by the fucking planet eaters. The Gaian Code of Conduct. Mother Earth's Code of Conduct is being seriously uh, violated. And she's gonna have uh, enough of our shit from this goddamn planet saving cup of organic coffee to this fucking uh, fracked propane wall heater behind me to these goddamn 99 cent made in China glasses to this fucking computer to this fucking camera anyway so before mother nature slaps our asses down 
I better get to my ecological meltdown roundup rant coming at you in one minute. Bye guys. Well, you lazy little dog, are you getting out of bed or not? I've been up. I've been up for over an hour. Over an hour. And here's where my little dog is. Are you getting out of bed today or not? And you say, Pop, I'm getting out of bed when there's swirlies. Are there swirlies to chase or not? If there's swirlies, I'm going to get out of bed.